I might consider later on cutting this one off and topping this somewhere in here. But see all these spurs? These spurs are going to be there. They're going to produce a lot of fruit. The benefits of eating peaches and plum, first thing, it's a hobby at the beginning, and it's a challenge. And when you go to the grocery store and you look at the price of the fruit on the shelf, you now realize I needed to plant two trees instead of one. In a backyard, one peach tree can produce, if it's taken care of real well, anywhere from two to 400 pounds of peaches in a year. Not from a seed. You need to uh, purchase the right variety on a good rootstock for our area. The variety that you want is one that you like for your taste buds, one that has the right chill hours. The 200 hour chill tree here will do very well. Chill hours in the winter time when these trees go dormant, the buds on them, uh, when the temperature drops below 45 degrees but above 32 degrees, it's kind of like in those buds there is a thermometer and a calculator and they're adding up those chill hours. And if you have a variety that requires 200 hours of chill, when those buds get that 200 hours of chill in a little warm weather, they would like to start blooming. Whereas the 800 hour chill from Dallas down here, it may never get that 800 hours and it won't produce an adequate amount of fruit or foliage and you'll be very disappointed. If you get a bare root tree, I will dig a hole large enough to accommodate the roots in an area that has good drainage. If I have to tri trim long or broken roots off, I will trim them. I like to fill it hole full of water, put the roots in the hole and backfill it. Uh, what came out last goes back in the hole first. I want to use my fingers to mash and remove all the air pockets away from the roots. I will water it that day, and for the next couple of days, I will water that tree. Trees need nitrogen. Uh, nitrogen makes things grow. So when you plant your tree, uh, somewhere maybe a month or two after you plant it, you might be giving it light applications. At first, a water-soluble 15, 5, 10, or something like that would, be, would work OK. Watch your foliage and leaves. They tell you a lot and uh, you can fertilize that tree with the small amounts of fertilizer probably about every six weeks up until the end of uh, June. Where's the trunk of the tree? That, oh, that, that high? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's pretty high, you know, yeah. but you can also let them produce them scaffold limbs if you want and cut the top of them. You control the height. Okay. We prune peach trees to get the old wood off, the wood that produced peaches this year we want to cut that off so that the sunlight striking the bark with fertilizing water, a lot of new growth grows. And that new growth that grows this year produces blooms and fruit the following year. When it comes to birds attacking your fruit, a netting works real well. Uh, netting over a peach tree is easy to put on. It slides over the foliage. If you don't have any uh, dead limbs, it works real well, and it, it is worth the money because of the value of the fruit that's on the tree.